hello guys and welcome to another video in this video we are going to talk about artifact uh, which is a gaming coin and we will directly go to the white paper of the artifact uh, but uh, before that uh, let's go through quickly some basic informations and then quickly jump to the white paper because i know that that's all you all are waiting for so the market cap is around 23 million fully diluted valuation is 37 million and these are some of other basic information about the social media like twitter and telegram community and other things this seems to be a bep2 bep20 uh, token on bsc scan binance smart chain and apart from that this is the chart so now let's quickly go through the website before moving to the white paper so this is the website pretty simple yet good looking website just a uh, you can see a proper gaming kind of a website uh, and this is the static audit and uh, apart from that this is these are other exchanges where you can trade this token i guess you can also find the information regarding trading here on coin gecko page so uh, uh, now quickly let's move to the white paper because that's all you are waiting for i know and let's study the white paper so this is the index and we will try to understand what this project is all about what problem it is trying to solve and uh, what are other important aspects of the project uh, this coin uh, gamers make up to uh, make up almost one third of the world's population today but despite the growing popularity of gamify only one percent of the gamers are gamify uh, the big so this is generally a, room, uh, a rule a rule of thumb in any field only one percent of the people survive and learn something valuable the big gap between gamify and the triple a games is due to the fact that most game game five products uh, uh, games use a play to earn model that focuses more on earnings and does not pay the due attention to important game aspects such as gameplay playability playability graphics quality mechanics and other art uh, other things so what they are trying to say here is that rather than focusing only on the earning model we should also focus on the gaming experience that's what they are saying artifact aims to solve this problem and become the first game that will be truly interesting to average gamer so they want to target the average gamer by not only focusing on the play to one model of course they will keep the play to one model but they will also focus more on the uh, gaming experience that is what they want they are trying to say here uh, this will be achieved by bringing together the latest technologies and the best practices from the both gamefi and triple a worlds uh, using an innovative play to earn model that puts gaming experience ahead of the earnings so that is as i said that is what they're core concept is of course uh, this is their market overview generally market overview is in billions and trillions only so you can go through it in the white paper if you want to and if you don't know where the where to find the white paper then you can go on the website and simply click here and you will open this you will be able to uh, read this white paper now executive summary artifact is the uh, virtual world where players can find entertainment for every taste using rt token the platform's utility token artifact citizens are able to play various triple a quality game five uh, games and on rt buy and trade nfts such as avatars uh, weapon skins uh, virtual estate clothes as well as attend virtual concerts nft exhibitions runway shows and other events while P2E playing to, uh, pay, play to earn was just the first Web3 economic model to have gained traction within GameFi, uh, this model has been perhaps far too focused on building a gamer's base, which is considered the supply side of the GameFi. However, the demand side that keeps the economy balanced hasn't scaled fast enough. So, what they are trying to say is that the, the demand actually comes from the gaming experience, the entertainment part, and they want to focus more on the entertainment part. Our mission is to create the first metaverse game that will be truly interesting to the average gamer we will do this by combining the best of the triple a uh, and uh, game five games and creating virtual world with an innovative play to earn model where anyone can play earn trade and exhibit nfts and just have fun our vision is to become the top five game five games of 2023 and expand our metaverse for a decade with artifact we are aiming to disrupt the existing game five games like the sandbox decentraland x infinity by providing gamers unique triple a level experience and opportunities that game that games based on an outdated play to one model cannot give so they want to directly come with that uh, compete with the top cryptocurrency gaming projects like x infinity and 
all this uh, so apart from that this is their basic web 2 web 3 comparison revolution in game 5 generating a social and persistent virtual world allows the creation of different experiences added to the regular gameplay at its core artifact ecosystem consists of three main components gaming event gaming event and nft marketplace of course nft marketplace will be required because player will be able to uh, buy and sell their avatars and other gaming weapons weapons and everything so and many more things i'm sure so the gaming component allows players to play various multiplayer game five games in which they can earn rt or win nfts artifact games have the highest graphics quality unique gameplay and playability and a variety of modes blockchain allows gamers to have true ownership on their game uh, items in the form of nfts and reward players for their time put into the game allowing them to monetize and freely trade their nfts the event component allows artifact cities uh, citizens to create various paid and free events such as virtual concerts nft exhibitions and galleries runaway shows and other meetings the nft marketplace is the trading environment for nfts where they can be purchased or sold to other players so these are so now the key features of the artifact metaverse so uh, unique game modes abilities so maybe you will get some superpower legendary characters virtual events sneakers provide ad additional gameplay features um, so all these are the armored vehicles and all these are gaming things i i think every we all have used all these things when we were kids i, I don't play games anymore jetpacks and many other superpowers now these are the advantages if you compare uh, the artifact with sandbox fortnite and nft market other nft marketplaces the economy artifacts economy is real it has its own monetary system and laws that the users themselves influence artifact citizens use rt the governance token that gives access to all the features of the platform artifact has several methods of economic interaction the exchanger in which you will be able to uh, exchange the other uh, cryptocurrencies with rt token artifact provides a large selection of play to play and earn games in which you can earn rt or nfts nft market uh, place to uh, sell and buy avatars weapon uh, weapon skins clothing and more staking uh, will be for the governance part we'll also try to talk about the importance of government governance later on metaverse and nfts estimated addressable market is worth more than 11 trillion establishing a robust model for continuous revenue streams will provide the stability and viability of the artifact metaverse ecosystem and will allow further development of the platform the major expected revenue streams are as follows advertising event ticket sales rt withdrawal fees uh, nft trading fees nft sales uh, purchase rt for games playability uh, uh, i mean there are more information about the artifact game so the first is playability artifact is the third person shooter built with an open persistent uh, world artifact games will uh, have open maps that are accessible to everyone as well as closed ones that are only available to players with a high rating so of course rating uh, gives the ranking basically that's all rating means here also artifact will create custom game modes for special events or partnerships in partnerships integration all while interacting with the player driven economy so again what they are trying to say is that, uh, say is that they want to create a, a very high quality playing experience while focusing on the uh, economic factors like play to one and all as well the game model of the artifact game is freemium players can access and play from the very first moment without replenishment uh, of the rt balance or purchasing nfts the interaction with play and on economy depends on the player's will with a player driven economy model gamers who contribute to the economy uh, ecosystem can receive a reward in rt or nfts in addition to the standard games professional international tournaments will be regularly held how users earn from artifact earning rt tokens or nfts in games selling nfts staking and farming rt earning rating points artifact puts gaming experience ahead of earning and offers a wide variety of game types and multiplayer games mode game modes suitable for every kind of player uh, in each game players can use purchased nfts as well as receive rating uh, points 
game types more information about the artifact game types tournaments and tournaments play will, of course tournaments are tournaments they will be able to play with uh, each other in the tournaments and then there will be battles which is also very easily understood but i am sure it will be for different games discover all the possibilities of artifact in order to start playing the basic version of artifact no costs are required but in order to open additional game modes in tournaments get access to limited nfts or participate in battles players need to purchase an artifact pass subscription and innovative ability again all these uh, things has to has to be done by the community if the community is not going to be involved in all these then the project will not be decentralized and sooner or later the gaming projects that are driven by the community who has a very powerful governance system are only the, those projects are going to survive the projects that are not focused on the uh, not focused on the community the project that are driven by 5 to 10 uh, uh top developers they they they, they can't be said uh, as a decentralized project they will be centralized project and sooner or later they are not going to survive in the longer term that's why you will have to be just be careful with every cryptocurrency project you focus on our goal should be to simply focus on decentralization so the management should also be decentralization using blockchain technology is very important it is also a form of decentralization but the real decentralization comes when there is a management uh, management decentralization so the every community member every investor should take part into the governance and they should have lot of control over all the aspects of the project an innovative ability system is uh, play like a superhero an innovative ability system is integrated into artifact games which is fundamentally different from the classic skill system in each game the ability points are randomly placed on the map at these points the players can get a random ability such as displaying enemies through walls increasing the running speed energy shield semi visibility super dash and others each ability lasts 1 minute then there will be leader boards game modes death match team death match battle royal control i think if somebody has played counter strike or something like so, so dota 2 or something like that then they will understand all these things if you have not played then you won't be able to understand but this is these are very easy terms for pro gamers uh tournaments prize pool so 50 this is the to, uh, idea for uh, sharing the prize pool so half of the amount will be given to the uh, winners artifact nfts get full control over your game items so in this uh, you will be able to own truly own your nfts so well, let's say that you won a game and you earn some uh, you know all these things uh, armored vehicles or jetpacks or something like that then you will be able to sell it uh, to other gamers and they will be able to purchase power from you uh apart from that this is their uh, uh foundation of the artifact economy in game token dao voting deflationary and staking so as i said the dao voting is going to be the key if the community is not going to be involved if they do not control all the features of the project and they the project will become a centralized project and in the cryptocurrency market big investors hit centralized projects they they'll only love decentralized project projects that are driven by the community so big investors investors with big money that's why they hold lot of bitcoin and not they, they do not hold other coins because big, big investors understand that holding uh, coins which are centralized even though they look promising is very risky bet rather than holding the tokens which are decentralized because the cryptocurrency market is is probably never going to be regulated no matter how everybody tries and that's why we need to uh, fight that uh, regulatory uh, Uh, we uh, the, the we will have to compensate uh, that uh, regulation problem by making the projects decentralized because even government will try with pure honesty uh, if even if the team will try to make everything regulated but still there will be lot of uh, lack of transparency and that can only be controlled through decentralization and that's why community's role will become very important RT is a native in-game and governance token of the artifact ecosystem you can use it to buy artifact game items nfts govern the artifact dao receive rewards in game for games and by staking rt and get premium privileges the integrated play and earn solutions maintain a constant demand for the rt which continuously stimulates the growth of its value token type and these are other basic 
information about the rto this is their visiting schedule use of the funds again all this will have to be uh, managed through the community and through dao if that is not going to happen then there is always going to be a lot of risk i am not saying that they are doing going to do any kind of exit scam nothing like that i am saying because i don't know the team i don't know any of them my point is that if everything is done through the community if everything is done through dao then there is a good chance that the project will have a lot of transparency and and, and i am a firm believer in this simple one liner that transparency brings growth in game token rt is a native in game and governance token of the artifact ecosystem you can use it to buy artifact game items nfts govern the artifact dao receive rewards in game fi games and staking rt and get premium privileges decentralization is the center of the artifact ideology that's why future of artifact is in the hands of rt token holders that's what my point is that uh, future is in rt uh, rt tokens holders so until the token holders not take 100% responsibility for the project you can say that the future is shaky <laughs> that's what my point is i am not again i am not saying that decentralization happens overnight no it is it is a long process sometime it can take years and i totally understand that but that should be the goal of the project and that should be the key uh, area of focus for the community members if that community members will not have st solid bonding between each other then they are going to fail miserably at least even if they succeed in this uh, project it is possible that in other 99 projects they will not succeed so you can succeed one or two times by a fluke but you cannot succeed continuously if you do not follow the process of bonding with each other so community members as an investor you your goal should be to bond with other community members and those community members uh, should also have a very solid uh, bond with themselves and they should also have a solid bond with the team and that's how you can make the project more and more decentralized decentralized day by day you can control the risk you can counter the lack of lack, lack of uh, what, uh, government uh, you know uh, regulation yeah, you have you can counter that regulation problem by making projects decentralized that's how you can counter that because in cryptocurrency market we will have to accept that we lack regulation and that's the biggest problem and uh, i know that so, uh, some cryptocurrency mem uh, investors will say that you know what we don't care for the government crypto is all about uh, doing things against the governments but no that's not how things work you will have to compensate the lack of regulation and you can do that uh, you can compensate the, that thing only and only through decentralization that's how industries grow and that's what history teaches us now this is the rewards for playing and burning an in-game token there are some other basic information and these are some of the graphics these are the development tools technical i don't understand all this i mean of course i know that metamask and all uh, but apart from that other things i do not understand brand positioning values or five uh, commandments uh, this is the target audience of course i'm sure it will be young audience secondary market details of marketing strategy you can go through it content from content creation to seo everything pretty standard uh, use of funds again this use of use of funds is, funds is going to be a key factor so just as a community member it becomes your responsibility that you you take a lot of power in your head uh, and decide how the funds will be used this is their ro roadmap and this is their beta stage alpha stage and this is their team these are some of the top key members of the team and uh, uh, yes apart from that uh, that's all we have for this project these are some of the exchanges and investors and uh, this is the disclaimer so yeah we are almost done with the white paper and uh, that's all i have for you uh, about artifact metaverse project i hope you you were able to understand the project you also were able to understand the importance of decentralization which is the least talked topic right now in the cryptocurrency market but i believe that it is the most important topic so yeah that's all i have for you uh, in this video i think uh, you can hit the like button and you can also think about subscribing to the channel if you want to see more videos and please join my telegram community i will put the link in the description for the same and i hope to see you uh, soon in the next video till then take care bye bye